I promise I'm not going to get angry on this. I usually get angry when I start bringing up post dictions and stuff. But uh, Joe Rogan blasts Trudeau's uh, SHI whole communist government. I don't go up there anymore. That place needs a 100% overhaul. And it just goes back to what I was saying is these guys are all on the same team. Trudeau, Rogan, Russell Brand, all these people. Yeah, yeah, I'm accu I've been accusing these guys of all Pierre, Pauly. They're all on the same thing. This whole Joe Rogan thing, he's got the clout. He's got the reach. He's got the uh, why. He's always seven years late to the party. That, that's it. I, I did a video there. Oh, my God, Joe Rogan said something. There's a video you should look up across my channel. You, you're going to find it very funny. Uh, talking about digital currency seven years after it's been announced. Talking about um, things years, way years, 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 years after it's settled and done. Right? And I never understood these influencers or these people that are on the side of the conservative or the people's voice. I never understood these guys. Uh, Joe Rogan, I'm saying. Trudeau is just out to lunch. But 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 Joe Rogan could save lives. He could have saved a lot of lives over the years. Uh, again, with Russell Brand, all these heroes, all these these heroes that 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 uh, that are branded as the people for you, your people. So he said that big deal. Well, why wasn't this said 10, 15 years ago when the problems were starting to kick in? Why wasn't anything done when the problems? And that's what makes me so upset is a lot of this housing problem, the money laundering, the inflation, all of these problems that we have today could have been solved. If you go back to some of my videos and look at the timestamp when I made the video, let's say 2014, 2017, 2012. Okay, Mike's talking about this on this day on money laundering and people parking money in, in Canada in 2012. Okay, got it. Now, if you go back to that time, you could have, we could have saved that, we could have fixed that problem. And we have laws in place already to solve that problem, right? But that's the problem with these guys. These guys are all playing, they're all, they're all showing their hand too much. These guys are showing their hand too much. Now, before I jump in there, and again, my, my, my message to Joe Rogan has gone unheard. And uh, SOS from Canada, euthanasia government sanctioned murder on the rise, uh, Please help us. One in 10 Canadians will be euthanized by 2025. Governments will force anyone and everyone five years ago. And money laundering, how we got here, why we're being euthanized, right? Stop the murdering. SOS from Canada. Government sanctioned murder 2024. And I am, I've been begging and reaching out. SOS from Canada made euthanasia. Governments are killing us. So I got so serious about this because I'm so worried that... Hey, everyone. I'd like to send a very urgent message out to Joe Rogan. So if you could humbly share this video or get it out so that he could, this could catch his ears. It's SOS coming out of Canada. And someone of high stature in the United States needs to take, needs to take notice of this as soon as possible. Because when Joe Rogan says something, it actually becomes something. And it manifests and people start to see and take notice and it goes all over social media. I've been trying so hard for since pretty much 2008 and a bunch of channel terminations and exposing what's happening, trying to make sense of what's happening in Canada. It's very heartbreaking and we need somebody like Joe Rogan who could say something because when he says something, it becomes something. I'm good. And there it is right there. When he says, says says something, it becomes something. But why is he seven years late to the party? Someone in the comments is saying, uh, Mike, you want an, uh, an American to understand a national issue. I don't understand. It's, it's no. It's not an international issue. The digital currency, all the stuff he brings up is all seven years behind. It's all settled and done. If he wants to save lives from simply stopping the money laundering. Has he talked about money? I don't know. I haven't heard him say a damn thing about money laundering and the Chinese Communist Party parking money in America and basically using fentanyl. Like, this is something we've been talking about 10 years ago. And I've been talking about... See, I'm, I'm in Canada. I'm a Portuguese in Canada and I'm talking about what's happening in America. Talking about the, the, the Joe Biden selection before they even took to the polls that it's all selected. Uh, calling out all this stuff. Years, but getting... Getting really, really ridiculed hard about it, 
and then and then it happens and then I still get ridiculed and then Joe Rogan says something after and then he's he becomes a huge national hero for saying something after it happened that's the problem so I have this euthanization thing on my tongue and it's bothering me that I believe and I'm going to go back to this video from Five years, 11 months ago, one in 10 Canadians will be euthanized by 2025. And I'm, I'm really worried about this because a lot of people are being tricked and, and government-sanctioned murder is a real thing, right? And Pierre Polyver, Canada's, Canada's savior, is coming in. And what did I say? Two years, 10 months ago, Pierre Polyver can't save you. Uh, too much laundered money, massive public sector taxation. Pierre Polyver cannot save Canada, wake up, they are all part of the same club, same team. Heel versus face, it's all a lie. Justin Trudeau versus Pierre Polybert, Donald Trump versus Joe Biden. Proof it's all fixed, and it's it's over and over and over and over again. They are playing us, folks. They are playing you. We are all being played here. All these huge influencers. You go on Rumble, you got all your Rumble heroes here. Look at all your Rumble heroes. What are they talking? Election, election fraud, election this, election. This is all old stuff. And I, I want to see the look on their faces. Well, they, Russell Brand's following this Donald Trump and this and that, full blast, wasting everybody's time. When well, there's going to be no election in 2024, they're going to suspend elections in 2024 in America. You're going to see what's going to happen. One thing is going to lead to another, and it's going to get, it's going to be, it's going to get really bad. And if they do have an election, it's just going to be another selection and Joe Biden's going to be back in there. So it's going to be one or the other. And there's going to be a lot of civil unrest and one thing will link to another because people aren't getting what they want. But these 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 heroes are here. They're in your face everywhere you go. I got an email from somebody's going live. I don't even know who the hell they are. They showed up in December 2021 warning people. You don't warn people in December 2021. You warn people in 2012 what's going to happen in 2021. So anyways, I, I just wanted to put this out there. And uh, yeah. So everything, everybody's late to the party for some reason. Why? It's not by chance. The release of information is important. And they're allowed to release it. Guy like me, nobody, I, I don't have 10 people watching this live stream. But a guy like me that's been doing this for, for all these years has been seeing it, interwoven it, figuring it out, connecting the dots, and trying to make sense of what's going to happen and creating this predictive model. And this is what's happening here. And you can see it clear as day.